Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, I discovered that apparently Vault Hunters has gotten a pretty significant update. And well, in between episodes, I discovered that apparently the research tab, specifically the looting one, has gotten an update as well. It would appear that pouches is actually no longer part of the looting table. But however, double pouches is. So apparently, if we go to pouches, this it says nothing, but this requires research double pouches. So now you can actually make pouches in Vault Hunters before actually having your first knowledge star. That's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, another thing that I have decided in between episodes is I'm going to put this sword on the shelf and I'm going to take this one instead. It's not as powerful. However, it does have soul chance. It has extra undead damage, which is the majority of the mobs that I'm dealing with. Plus it has healing cloud. However, I am not going to put Unbreaking 3 on it because I just don't think it's worth it. Not on the armor either. I'm going to stop putting up bring three on it because it just it's just a waste of emeralds. I'm going to be changing it anyway. I'm leveling up quite fast, so I'll be I'll keep finding stuff in hopefully due time. Now in here we have one complete knowledge star and we have four mod boxes, which apparently also has been changed uh in, in the in the latest update. But we also have eight knowledge shards, which uh with our 12 benutite means that we only need four more benutite gems. So before we do anything else, I'm going to craft the crystal and I'm going to quickly run it and when running this crystal I'm actually going to do something different that I don't usually do but we will take a look at that in a bit poisonous potato I, don't have poisonous potato. I do have a poisonous potato haha -ha. and I also have plenty of copper Bruh. and ching yes and which one of you this one <laughs> you were not supposed to pick that up buddy oh yeah and in the last episode we got an extra pouch which actually doesn't have a pickup upgrade uh Yep, that's what I need. Mm, that should be doable, I think, as long as I have more slime. Yes. So that is the upgrade base. And then all I need to make is a piston real quick. Boom, boom, boom. And then I overlooked that I need two of vault diamonds and some chromatic steel again. And just like that, we have a pickup upgrade, which this now has equipped. Back to making this. Now, this is actually another issue. I need melon, but I have none. Um, I need a jungle. <laughs> have we found a jungle at any point? It would appear that we have one a thousand blocks in that direction. So I'm quickly going to sleep. I'm gonna throw the final glass in the altar and flat. Hmm, one second. Equip my elytra. Go for a nice morning walk. Totally not waiting for Dash to recharge. And then dash away. And judging by the speed we're flying at, the distance is already less than. Give it a second. Four hundred blocks. There we go. Oh wow, this place is beautiful. There's also a village next to me. Hold on. Do we have potential melons? I don't think. Yes, we do. Hold up. Okay, I don't actually think that this is what I was looking for. But okay, actually. Actually, that was just one patch. I was hoping that it would have multiple melons, but that is not the case for this one. But here we have the jungle, where I should be able to find some wild melons here or there. What on earth? The leaves are purple. What? What is this biome? Amethyst Canyon. That's beautiful. I like that, actually. But not what I'm here to find. I better search on the ground. All I need to find is a bunch of melons. That's not melons. Okay, the jungle actually continues in this direction. More like in this direction. Aha! Wild com com pumpkins. Wild pumpkins has been located. I need 15 in total, which means I need about two stacks, I'm pretty sure, if my math is not wrong. Okay, I hate flying through this bamboo. Please get me out of it. Get. I hate it. I hate it. Get me out. Get me out. This is horrible. Absolutely horrendous to go through. I now have 101 pumpkins. So probably one more batch will do it. Huge batch located. Yep, that will definitely hopefully do the trick. But now we just got to fly back home. And I love this Amethyst Canyon biome. It's beautiful. Only issue going home is that I need to wait for Dash to recharge because the trees are so tall. Yeah. Look at this. The terrain is actually stunning. Wow. It really, really is. I love it. Less than 300 blocks away from home. And here we are. And boom. Objective complete. ka -ching. And when it comes to bounties, we still have this one active. So I can't really pick up anything else. And this one. Uh, yeah, we, we, we bought something pretty expensive in the last episode. So not going to buy anything from there just yet. Place the crystal. I think I have everything that I need. I have blocks. My shot pouch. I have my vial. And I think I'm good to go. Now how I'm going to run this vault is basically I won't talk. Basically. 
basically all that you're going to hear is items being looted, mobs being unalived, and then we'll take a look at it at the end.
All right, that was a pretty good vault, not gonna lie. We got an Elixir vault, which, which was pretty easy to complete. We got 14,000 a vault XP in total, 2,388 from chests. I didn't actually realize this. We can see exactly how much XP we got. 9,000 for completing the objective, very cool. Unlight 139 mobs and looted 110 chests. <laughs> not too bad. And we really got to use all three of our pouches to Today, which I really liked having this uh, third one actually not being filtered because it could pick up all the miscellaneous things like the uh, vanilla stuff and also all of these blocks. But if we just take these out, I mean, it got pretty much full. But if it wasn't full, those then all of this stuff would basically, there we go, all of that stuff would basically have been full. Not too bad. Also, I decided to grab some logs because why not, you know? And also, bedtime. But unfortunately, we didn't complete the quest. Vault apples much must be a lot rarer than I thought. We also have two unspent skill points, which I need to decide which one I wish to use. I think I want to upgrade Javelin. I'm gonna do it. I'm, go I'm upgrading Javelin. It, it, it's just cool. Right, well, let's play Place this down and let me empty the stuff. I took a couple of items that I thought would be cool, like these nether brass lanterns, I think look pretty cool. And now, now, 21 Benyotite. That first room had so many ores, it was really, really cool. Um, yeah, it, it was just good. It was just really good. And we got a black opal as well. So I'm just gonna, for now, throw all of the gems in here. And very soon, we will be able to do stuff with that. I'm actually running low on storage while doing this. This is not ideal situation whatsoever. But that is why we did this, so we can fix the storage. Also, these vault sweets really, really good for food. If you can store them, that is. We got a picking size 85. Yikes. That's a bad deal. All right, so let's take a look at these. Not too bad. $16 chests, not too bad. 21 uh, vault diamonds, not bad at all. Let's open these real quick. Nothing, unfortunately. I'm just quickly going to extract this and empty my inventory. Oh yeah, that was the one vault apple. Huh. Ooh, we got a flawed jewel plus ornate affinity and item rarity. Also, this is a pain, but I have to do it just for now. It's temporary. It's very temporary, I promise. Place you there. Empty you. And place... Yeah, that's fine. Don't care. Don't care. It's fine. Uh, ooh, amplifying focus, actually. Can be used to modify vault gear and a new random modifier. Not bad. I'll bring, I'll, I'll bring this to where it actually belongs. Just in here. And... Uh, in here for now. So with that, this means that we should now actually be able to take this. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How much knowledge dust do we have? Is that all of it? How? Oh, wow. Hold, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I might be able to make three. I might be able to make three. Hold up. So the knowledge core is this. So, okay, first of all, that's all of our venue type. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. That is going to make an extraordinary Benyotite and then surround that with diamonds and we have a knowledge core which then gives us a knowledge star. But I can actually make another one. Wow. Just like this and boom, we have three knowledge stars. Wow. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm only going to be using two of them. You will have to watch the next episode to know which, uh, what I'm actually going to be using this one for. Bit of a cliffhanger in the middle of the episode, but uh, live with it. Anyways, let's get some sweets and let us unlock two of the points. And the reason why I'm not taking the other one as well is because I want to focus on two mods today. Oh wait, I forgot about this. Uh, let's just quickly have a look. Okay, a bunch of unidentified stuff, which we will have to quickly uh, I, I, uh, unidentify, I was about to say, identify. A bunch of gold, the kiwi's good, gilded affinity, pigging, vanilla immortality, shoveling, vanilla immortality, and a mode of clarity. Reveals all curses on a vault crystal. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, let us quickly go through this stuff. Three wands. I still don't know what the wands are used for. Anyway, let's take a look at the boots here. Uh, nope. Less ability. Nope. Less a scrap. Helmet. I don't think it's going to beat what we currently have. Less ability power. Yep. Also bad. Don't know what these wands are used for. I'm going to save these because I don't know what they actually do. If you know what the wands do, please do let me know down below in the comments because I have no idea. Right. The two mods that we are going to unlock is going to be... I really want drawers. I really want drawers. However, 
it's actually not one of the mods that I'm going to take right now. You see, if we go to drawers, to properly use drawers the way I want to, I'm going to be needing a drawer controller, which in order to get a drawer controller, I need a pug. And I don't have every single one of these gems. Like we can do a quick head count here of the gems. I definitely have Georgia, uh, Gorgonite, I have Escalium, I also have, I don't have Sparkle Teen, I don't have Tobium, I do have Pizza Knight, I definitely do have Bombing Knight, I have Eupoline, I don't have Xenium, and I do have Ashium. So I'm missing three of these, so I want to wait with Drawers. However, instead, the two mods that I wish to take is Colossal's Chest and Simple Storage Network. And my plan is to basically shrink all of these chests into one big massive one. And that goes for both uh, these storages. So this is for vanilla stuff, this is going to be for vault stuff. And I hope that I'm not making a mistake doing this. And the reason why I'm picking Simple Storage Network is so that we can access those inventories and search in them a lot easier. Because with this, with uh, Simple Storage, you don't actually need a park to do any of it. You just need a bunch of chromatic iron, a, bit, a little bit of uh, Larimar and Driftwood and Chromatic Steel, which you can also pretty easily make with carbon. Uh, don't think we need these. So basically, all we need is a little bit of resources and maybe a network by a guidebook. But I think I don't think I need it. So yeah. Yeah, let, let, let's unlock them. These are going to be our second mods that we unlock. So let's do Colossal Chest mod first. And also the other thing is I can unlock as many mods in here as I want. It's not going to add to the price. Whereas in here, for example, when I unlock double pouches, it's going to add two uh, research points in the price for the next mod that I unlock in this section. So that is very, very nice. So drawers. Ooh. Okay, so now after taking two, getting another one is actually going to increase the price. So that can change over time. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, drawers will be taken another time. I definitely want the mod, but just not right now. All right. Well, we have some crafting to do, I think. If we start with the col colossal chest mod, we have a couple of things. We have chest wall, then we have chest core, then we have chest interface. All of these are fairly easy to make. Uh, this one being the main one that we need to focus on, which means we need a bunch of chromatic iron ingots, uh, logs, which we definitely do have, and then a bunch of driftwood, all of which I should have in my possession. And then the logs. Now, I don't know how big I'm actually going to have to make this, um, I'm going to need one for this. So if a chest has, let's say, a three by three, so that is nine blocks on each side, but that is also nine. Uh, uh, hold on, need to do math. Nine, eighteen, that's three on each side. That's six. So add six to eighteen. That's four. Then one at the bottom, one at the center, one at that. So that is twenty-four. So that's x three. So twenty-seven, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's not quite enough, is it? Well, I'm going to need it because. A colossal chest you will have to build i'm pretty sure in an orientation like this so contains it in an in a invalid block air so i need to have the core interface and then add the remaining on top but in order to do that i need more chromatic iron I have plenty of driftwood but i need the chromatic iron smelter so i suppose right now we can go ahead and create the core and the interface so if we go to the core that's just a little bit of larimar and the interface is polished vault stone which i actually already have very nice you <laughs> Uh, and we also have the mod boxes, which I think I'm going to try and open. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh. Wait. No less shards. Oh. Okay, right. The mod boxes got an update, as I mentioned earlier. So, I forgot about this. Contains knowledge shards, or if you have unlocked any mod that has mod box rewards, it will contain items from that mod. So, that just means that the mod boxes, or that these two mods, the Colossal Chest and the Simple Storage Network, does not have items in the mod box. So, I'm actually going to save that um, for a rainy day because maybe Drawers has stuff in the mod box. I don't actually know. So, I'm going to put that away. We're not gonna do that. I feel like that would be wasting it. And apparently making a, a, a colossal chest interface uh, consumes the core. So that is something to note. But let's place the core, let's place the interface, and now I just need eight more in order to complete this. 
and there we go must be hollow oh so you only need one or the other right well we definitely do we want the interface i'm gonna try the interface i'm very confused oh okay well i assumed that the core had to be inside the chest but that was apparently wrong oh there we go oh that uh, okay it's it's the other way around but okay uh don't know what the interface does then um to interact with pa oh okay so it's not an interface for us okay okay that's that's fine. Right. I might need it then, but I don't 100% know. Okay. So let's just place the core there. There we go. Investment made. Wooden colossal chest. And opening this provides quite a bit of inventory. Uh, however, I don't know how much inventory. So we're going to find out now. I obviously don't want this chest here. I would rather have it over here somewhere. So I suppose I need to make a 3x3 three three area. This chest can actually be located. And I think uh, making it in here is actually going to be fine. We have a shovel. I feel like I asked this a hundred times. Have this standing here because then my little plan with having an interface might actually work. So right there. Right. Taking you apart again. So my idea is to build it here essentially. However, obviously in order to do that, it would appear that I need to move some stuff. You gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, get rid of this, which means I can now place these and place this. Boom. So now if I remove this, and I just add stuff in here, we will quickly find out how big the storage thing actually is. All of this stuff will be added. I mean, already I've added like a full double chest and this quickly goes by. So let me just try and fill this up with all vanilla items. Don't lose stuff in it. And I think we'll actually be very well sorted here very soon. <laughs> this place is going to look so much neater. Oh no, I left my, hold on, give that back. Thank you. And in just a second, everything from the vanilla section has successfully been transferred with like only 25% full. <laughs> <laughs> Only 25% full, ladies and gentlemen. That is sick. And apparently we can make bigger tiers, like we have colossal chest wall, like iron, uh, co sorry, copper, which I assume is just a better version, like a bigger inventory. Not bad. Right. Well, that's sorted. And I'm, ooh, what happens if I break something? I don't know if I just lost all the items. It actually saved them. Okay, good. I wanted that because this is my next plan. I am going to expand it using this, the storage inventory. Uh, yes, and I need a link cable, which means I need this. So I'm going to be needing glass, which I don't think I have any of. So I will have to smelt some. Wait, actually, yes, I do. Hold on. Just gonna search for it. This is a perfect example of why I'm going to be adding. Wait, I added it in here. Oh, but it's not enough. Dang it. But yes, this is a perfect example of why I'm adding the simple storage network to this because it's it's easy storage. Like it's an easy storage with just hooked up a uh, simple network thingy, whatever it's called. And this should then be the final piece of glass, which means I can go ahead and make this and then I can use a link cable just like that and then I should be able to make this and I'm going to be needing more link cables so I'm going to be needing oh, one more piece of glass and yes I'm going to you know what I'm going to be using scaffolding as fuel I, I don't care and there we go final piece of glass has been made so that means I can go ahead and this again and then make a few more link cables so before hooking it up I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> Oh, come on. Let me sleep. I want to sleep. What if I wanted to sleep early? Huh? What, what if I wanted to sleep early? Th there we go. Thank you. It's an early morning at the camp and we are expanding our storage. So at this, at least it attached to attaches. And if I do this, okay, that's a bit of an eyesore. Don't know if I like that, but uh, am I missing something? Storage network root. Only one per network. Oh, I'm going to need one of these, aren't I? Connect right. That's blocks of quartz. I mean, I can handle the link cables. That's easy enough. Boom. But quartz, I don't actually think, did I gather any quartz? I don't feel like I did. Only one way to solve this problem. To the nether we go. And I already see what I need to get. Ooh, need more. Ooh, yes. And that should be, oh, there we go. And that should be all of it. That was a quick trip. So now if I just do this, I should be able to make a storage route. I'm pretty sure that that is then going to fix my issue. Yes. <laughs> 
it works, it works. And we can uh, synchronize JEI if we wanted to. We can sort by name, by mod, by amount. That's pretty cool. However, it's not doing it by amount right now. There we go, sort by amount, sort direction, and we can search. Oh yes, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And again, <laughs> this thing is only 25% full. I'm in love with this. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Now I just need to do whatever I did over here, right here. This way we still have two separate storages for the two separate things. Because whenever I need stuff from the vanilla, I'm not gonna be needing it from, from Vault Hunters. So having it split up, I think is going to be a pretty good idea. So I'm just going to be needing to gather a bunch of stuff. Specifically, raw chromatic iron is going to be a thing that I definitely need to gather. I have all the driftwood that I think I'm ever going to be needing for this. Uh, don't think I'm going to be needing, well, obviously chromatic iron. Actually, I don't have that much chromatic iron. Hmm. I actually don't think I'm going to have enough. Uh, hold on. How many exactly do I need? One, two, three. Is then 106. No, it's 104. I need 104, I think, chromatic iron ingot. I don't have that much ore. Definitely don't have enough. I will also be needing to grab more sand. I'm not gonna waste a core on this. I'll be using scaffolding. Right, I need chromatic iron. Where have I since found chromatic iron? Right, nowhere, because I took it all last time I found some. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Right, new mission, find chromatic iron ore. That's gonna be fun. I feel like I need to go somewhere where I haven't actually searched yet. This could be an ideal place to go down. I basically just need to find a very deep opening that goes very far down, because I need to get down to deep slate level. This is not promising. I might just need to dig down, to be honest, actually. You know what, I'm gonna do it, just gonna dig down somewhere. Oh, wait, hold on. Hope is not lost yet. Oh, hello. This is big cave, big open cave. Oh, I love this. Okay, deep slate. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Right, beneath Y level 30. This is not Y level minus 30. I have to go deep. Ow, I have to go deeper yet. Oh, wow, this cave is huge. <laughs> I love it down here. And with the shaders, it's even better. I hope you guys can see properly, but like the, oh, but like the, um, the fog and everything. I like it. Okay, minus 30, minus 30. Now I have to keep my, oh, wow. Hello. That's not quite enough though, but I found it. Well, I found some. Whoa, hello. Okay, well, I'm happy that I could at least recognize it. Wait, is this a big one? Oh yeah, this is a big one. Perfect. There's so much here. I'll take it. I'll get some lapis. Why not? Never know when you're going to need it. Okay, this cave is actually really good. I'm going to mark it down Uh, right here. Great waypoint. Big cave. Just so I know in the future that this cave is amazing. Okay, got a little bit of raw osmium and other stuff that I don't really need, which I'm just going to drop for now because I really don't care about it at this point in time. But I got the chromatic iron and I s actually there's more here. I might as well get it now that I'm here. Look at all this. And just like that, we have a lot of it. Yeah, I think I'm done down here. I just have to find my way out again. Whoa, lava. Don't know if this is where I came in, but it's it's an opening. Yep, this is it. I just got to climb up, wait for dash to recharge and go home. What a haul. The base actually looks very cool from a distance, at least from this side coming in. And bedtime. So that means I can just fill this up and I believe I have enough of that. So you can fill this up now. And I suppose while that is melting, we might as well take a look at the next vault recipe, which more melons. I don't have that many extra. It would appear that I really need to start setting up some basic farms like for the carrots, the potatoes and the melons because I'm starting to really need those in the in the vault recipes. All right, almost have enough now. That is the interface. The core is going to be right in front, two here and two here. So we are almost there. And this should be the final one. So adding them, uh, actually, hold on, I need to, I probably need to relocate the items first just to be safe, maybe. Like this chest, for example, I'll definitely have to move just very temporarily. And this one and this one. Final walls, core going in and boom, we can start transferring to the new storage here. But of course, we still need to add the interface, which if we just get rid of this real quick, I feel like I've lost something that I used to have here. Did I lose something that I used to have there? I don't think so. This is very satisfying to just add it all in there and knowing that we will not be needing any new storage for quite a while. And this is then the final one. I'm going to keep this chest for like um, uh, jewels as such. I'm going to keep that as it is. I'm not, I'm not gonna add that to the system. Right, remove this and time to make what we have over here, which is one storage route. 
like that. And there we go. That is storage inventory and then a linking cable. So root link cable storage. And just like that, we have the same setup as right over there. <laughs> This is amazing. And I can actually sort through it. So, oh, chest, you're not supposed to be here. Choker boxes, you're not supposed to be here either. Uh, chest scrolls, I'm actually probably going to be adding the mud boxes, the knowledge star. Oh, sorry, the knowledge assets. I'm going to keep this as gems only, I think. Everything else is just going to be added into here because might as well. I think modded items go in here too. I think that's fine. But yeah, look at this. This is really, really awesome. We could add gems in here as well. And if we take a look here, like again, 25% full. Our story just got a massive massive upgrade but guys with that said i'm going to call this an episode i think we did some pretty decent progress today we have added two new brand new storage systems one for vault items and one for vanilla items i might actually add something to indicate which is which just for the fun of it ah my vial that's what i was missing like for example i might use this lantern eh, if i can there we go to indicate that maybe this flower pot can be over here if I can just quickly, can I quickly find a, a flower that is suitable to represent vanilla stuff? You know what? A red tulip. How more, how much, how much more vanilla can you get? Or maybe a white one. I don't know, actually. White one? Eh, red one. Or maybe just, I have a better idea. A vanilla lantern for vanilla things. I like it. So guys, like I said, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next upload. It greatly helps out the channel, all those things. And let me know down below in the comments what on earth these wands are. Please, it's driving me insane. <laughs> In the next episode, we have one more unspent knowledge point. I just haven't taken it yet. Maybe we'll take it. Maybe we won't. I'm not sure yet. I need to do some thinking. And we're also going to complete this. And apparently, I need to set up some farms as well. Which, by the way, be sure you follow me over on twitch.tv slash binary as I will be doing occasional live streams over there as well. And speaking of which, joining my Discord server is a great way to stay up to date when I upload and go live and stuff like that. But that's enough rambling. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time have a wonderful day and until next time goodbye